Hello guys, CKN Gamers here, and uh, today we are going to talk about Stalker uh, Jiangxi. Uh, I guess that's how you pronounce his name. Is your first world boss that you're going to deal with uh, at right around level 7. Um, I haven't been able to see anybody except a high level uh, solo him. Uh, it may be possible with uh, characters, but so far I haven't been able to see it. Me and my friend together, and we're pretty decent players, uh, well, I almost had him, but it never did seem to work out and spent so much time farming this guy. And as you see, he spawns right there, and we're going to show you, uh, after we kill him, I'm going to tell you what time it is and how long it takes for him to respawn. So I'm showing 219. Um, I could have probably put a timer on it, but this guy spawns really fast, and it's 219 right now. Um, he drops this uh, chest here, and you get these uh, essences, Stalker Jingshai's Essence. Jingshai's Essence. Um, so, the more damage you do to the boss, the more essence you get. So, if there's a lot of people here, or if there's a high level in the group that's doing high damage to them, you'll usually only get two of these essences. If they're all regular level, uh, like you, if they're all like level 7s down here farming them, and you're just a better at dealing damage than they are, then you'll get anywhere from four to five of these essences. Um, so we'll we'll talk about the reason why you might want to farm them or why you may not want to farm them. So uh, we're gonna see how long it takes for him to pop up. Usually while I'm eating, I can cut a cut a piece of piece uh, off my steak, uh, eat that, take two bites of mashed potatoes, and the guy has respawned. See there he is right now. It's 220. It probably took a good I don't know. 30 seconds maybe to 45 seconds for this guy to respawn and uh, just beat him up with the group until he goes down really fast and the fight of course is fast, I didn't have to get that close, I wouldn't have taken damage but uh, there are a lot of times that I uh, I do get aggro because it depends on how good the group is so here's, I got four of them there, so I did pretty good damage in that one. Uh, so I got four of them, I'd give me six of them in a matter of uh, a minute, maybe. And that's how fast this guy spawns. Now, once you get these essences uh, in your bag, I've got 15 of them right now. Because I've been farming this guy so I can make this video for you guys. And um, so once you get these essences, you come up to this wheel and you spin the wheel. And when you spin the wheel, it gives you... Uh, you're going to either get these soul shield packs like this is, has 8 in that pack I've got 9 of them I have 78 of these 3 packs I have 35 of the 5 packs and it gives you these locked stalker weapons what it also gives you is it gives you another set of clothes and that's what took me so long to farm this guy for you for you guys Is uh, it took me a while to get this uh, stalker jinxai adornment chest I got eight of the outfit chest and uh, three of these head pieces. So that it's not that it usually it just it drops pretty fast. Sometimes you get unlucky and you'll have to farm for a while to get a certain piece. So we're gonna open up uh, one of these because I only need one. Uh, I think this is a piece that I don't like. Yeah, this is a piece I don't like. So. A Jingshai charm and it basically hangs off your forehead into your face as you can see there I mean she just uh, it just looks it looks funny to me it just really is really off uh, for some people they may like that though uh, it doesn't do anything as far as stats or anything like that now it does say a charm used to seal away the stalker Jingshai but I don't see how that how it has affected anything so I'm gonna take that off and uh, we're gonna open up uh, the chest piece Get that down to one, because I only need one. We'll end up filling up our bags here. Um, and there you go. Oh, that one looks better on a female. Definitely better on a female than a male. Wow. Uh, this is the first time I've tried it on a female. She looks good. She looks real good. Uh, all right. So, and then now the headpiece. Let's see how this headpiece looks like on her. It's not too bad. I think we could probably do without the headpiece. I already have red hair, and it just makes it like it's got longer red hair. Uh, well, I think that looks good. I might take the headpiece off later. I might not like that. 
So there you go. Those that's the outfit that you can get off of farming that boss, and you can usually get that outfit pretty fast. So what we're gonna do here is uh, we're gonna sell those. Sand. Whether you open up the, those or not, it's still one copper. Uh, so I'm just gonna sell them in the box just the way they are, because it's still the same price whether you open it or not. So we'll get these out of our bags real quick. And now I farmed all this, and uh, which is gonna be useful in the long run because you know. Uh, you you make money off of it and I mean I know there's much better ways of making money and especially at low level it probably is you only can make one copper off of anything here I, I did end up getting a cat only uh, this was dropped off of some uh, uh, NPC uh, I've never seen that yet so that might be something that uh, they like on the auction house so alright the next step is we do have our weapon let me repair my weapon real quick so I had to wait maybe for Turk beat up. No, we're both working on a weapon. Alright, so my weapon's all the way repaired. And now we would want to upgrade this, of course, all the way to the breakthrough. I've, I saved up all these green items, hoping, or uh, green weapons, hoping that I could get to the breakthrough on that, but I saved them just so I could show you guys. Uh, just go through here, uh, click on all of them, and it won't, it's not going to give me, it's not going to make it go all the way to the breakthrough, apparently. But it will make me go to five, and one blue one will probably put me to the breakthrough. So, we're going to open. Let's move some of this so it's not all a mess here. Put that over here to the side. Alright, so we'll open up the first weapon. It takes keys to open these up, so you can... Now, oh, well, I'll describe that here in a minute. So we'll open up that one. And that is a gauntlet, which you cannot use, only a Kung Fu Master can. But you can use it to finish upgrading. So that'll put me at my breakthrough point. They were nice enough to give me this in a, a, a quest that I finished. So you already have the ingredient in order to do the breakthrough. But right here, if you look at this, it says that you need the Stalker Bangle in order to continue to upgrade your weapon. So where, and if you see right there, uh, where it pops up, it does show, I don't think if it's gonna hold, see? It, it does show that where you get it from, and that's the Everdust Stalker Jiangxi Wheel of Fate. And the only way, uh, so you can, f you can get these uh, Stalker Essences from all over Everdusk, but the fastest and easiest way to get them is just farm that boss down there, uh, the Stalker Jiangxi. So you farm him, get these, and then you just keep unlocking these boxes until you get that bangle. I'm, I'm a force master, so I need a bangle in order to upgrade this. So now, I've done this on some characters, and sometimes I've opened up a box and got what I needed right away. There's been another time where I used every single key, and I couldn't, I couldn't upgrade my weapon. And I had no more keys, and I didn't know where to get any more keys at. You can get them from a vendor, but you don't make enough money to buy a key from a vendor at this time, at this level. So, there is another way to do that, uh, when it says to, okay, well, let me go to the box first. So, I'm going to unlock another box here, and it gives me a sealed stalker axe. Now, when you go to unlock this box, it shows right here where it says class specific. If you have one of these keys, it will automatically open that box and give you the weapon you need. And what you're needing is this sealed stalker bangle. Uh, I don't know exactly where to get these from except for one place and that's where you'd have to spend real money or I don't know how to get home moon coins but I do have some end coins here I could actually just buy this key which you uh, would go in here to I believe it's it's uh, under supply and you buy it it's for 80 80 if you got I've got 2403 here you buy it for 80 you open up the first box that's it so uh, we're gonna just try to use the keys up until we uh, get what we're looking for. Open up another one here. Uh, so we have... no. See these right here, the Sealed Stalker Razors, they're coming out with a Warlock class that's not in game yet, or at least not in the United States. Uh, and I think it's coming out pretty soon, and that's going to be for that. And we have the Bengal. We do have the bangle. So now you have your unsealing charms, which are right here, the hung ones. Uh, you have to unseal it first. Confirm. And you go here. 
now you have your bangle in there, you have your ingredient, and you evolve it. Now, you could continue to quest just like this. I mean, you've done some good, good upgrading on it. Or, if you just like to keep up with your weapons and stuff, you can sit right here and just keep opening up these locked stalker weapons and continue to upgrade this to the very to the very highest again. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to use this one, and then this one has two in it. And that upgrades it quite a bit. It could either go here or it could max all the way out. So, let's see what happens. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I might only have to unlock one or two more chests. Alright, we'll unlock one more chest. Uh, let's see what happens with that one. Let's put that in there. Ooh, it could happen. It could happen. Ooh there we go. So now we're maxed out. And I'm level 7, and to find the next weapon to do the breakthrough requires level 20, and it requires that I go to a dungeon called Black Ram Narrows, which is, if I'm correct, the first major dungeon you go to that you need a group with. So I don't have to worry about upgrading my weapon no more. That's it. I'm done. I don't have to worry about my weapon at all except repairing it every now and then. So what we're going to do here is we are going to go ahead and get rid of all these locked boxes. Because whether you open up these weapons or not, it's still one copper. Whether you sell it as a lockbox or whether you sell it as a weapon, it's still one copper. So instead of wasting keys, just sell all the boxes. Get rid of them. And here you go. And I just went up to one silver, ten copper. Uh, so this video is making me money. <laughs> And uh, I'm not going to need these essences anymore because I'll, I'll end up getting everything I need from here. So we're going to go ahead and sell those off to empty the bags because this is where things get a little crazy. I have uh, all these soul shields. These are soul packs that will give you soul shields. And I have one soul shield here and I need a good eight. And I'd like to have a set. And that's what these this uh, stalker Jing Shai will give you. So we're going to open up. Oh, I didn't mean to sell them goodness let's do that let's get that back okay let me get away from the vendor here my dumb ass all right so um we're gonna open this up we're gonna open up just two of them otherwise you'll fill your bags completely up because it's gonna give us 16 of them right off the bat so we're gonna confirm opening two of them and really at this point all you have to do is just boom 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 Okay, I only need one here. Do I have it in here? Right there it is. And now I'm going to get a an achievement. The Way of the Jingshai. So now I have a full Stalker Soul Shield set. I have a completely upgraded weapon. I have a new chest piece. I have a new head piece. And just farming a boss that spawns every one minute. I mean, let's say max one minute. I think it's probably more like a 45 seconds he spawns. So... Now you have all these extra things you don't need. You don't need any of them. You can't use them. I mean, you need fusion power to upgrade your your uh, uh, your stalkers, your soul shields. But at this level, I'm, from what I'm gathering and some of the research I've done, you don't need, really need to do any of that until like level 25, 26, or maybe even 30. But I'm here in 25 or so. So basically, you can keep this uh, stalker, this soul shield set on. You can actually get another alternate soul shield. So if you have if you're a PVE and PVP, you could do one for PVE and one for PVP and just switch. You just want to press a button and click it. So, um, again, at level 20, when you go to get your weapon, uh, so you can upgrade this weapon, um, you will be getting, picking up purple soul shields from that dungeon. So I wouldn't even worry about any more soul shields until level 20. You've got a, you're pretty good here. I mean, you pick, you're picking up some more along the way, but to get another full set, I just worry about it once you hit level 20. So you have all this extra stuff here, and you can salvage all of it. Uh, and the salvaging just turns it into broken pieces, but you have a chance to get some fusion powder out of it. At this level, the chance is really, really low. So uh, I'm not going to put you through all that. I can go through and salvage every single one of these. That's like 78 times. Uh, that's a three pack, 78 times three, uh, 35 times five, seven times eight. I mean, that's a lot of these things I can break down, and I'll probably get about 10 out of all that that I break down. So, uh, you just basically salvage this stuff and uh, keep hitting yes. It'll, for the blue ones, it'll just ask you to confirm every time. And uh, whether if you salvage it, 
it's worth a uh, copper. If you don't salvage it, it's worth the copper. But what you're doing is hoping to get that them fusion powders, which are going to be really, uh, uh, really useful later on. So, uh, there you guys have it. I'm trying to cut these videos shorter. Um, I think I've explained everything that should, uh, I mean, if you're, if you play MMOs, uh, what I'm telling you is probably nothing you haven't already heard. Uh, but if you're new to these kind of games, uh, and you're liking it and want to get into this game, this is just an idea that you can do as you level it up, le hit level 7, you get your weapon Burn! maxed out, you get your full set of stalker shields, a new outfit on, and you're ready to go until like level 20. So, I guess I will go ahead and end the video here. If, uh, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you didn't, tell me why not, and uh, I welcome all comments. And I will see you on the next video.